Yeah, it's feeling pretty good. It's pulled up well. Um, so probably the extra quarter rest uh, helped, I reckon. Um, yeah, it's just from the week before, um, obviously had a pretty nasty roll against Collingwood. So um, the game was pretty much over, I think, at three quarter time. Um, so yeah, just have a, a little rest. Was that pre-planned? Because I know you didn't train a lot last week. Was that pre-planned or did you just feel... No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't. Um, no, we didn't even speak about it. Um, so yeah, when I came off, um, just had a quick discussion. Um, and yeah, best thing was to, to rest it. With a milestone ahead, I imagine you wouldn't be speaking unless you were sure you were going to play, but is there anything <laughs> you've got to tick off to, to make sure that you're going to run out on Thursday? Yeah, I'll probably still have to tick some boxes tomorrow. Um, I haven't really done much since the game, so um, like everyone, got to tick off some agility and speed and, and whatnot to make sure I'm ready to go, but um, it feels better than this time last week, so um, I'm really confident that I'll be good to go Thursday night. Pretty prolific first quarter there to set the tone for himself uh, on Friday. Did you go out there with that sort of mindset to get the boys on, on the roll? Or? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I feel like um, we haven't had the start of the season that we've wanted to and um, wanted to sort of lead the way in, in that department, um, but also just get back to my best footy. I felt like the week before against Collingwood, um, started to find some form and got back to um, my best brand of football with my fast feed and um, clearances and, and being clean. So, um, yeah, it was probably a flow on from the week before, but um, yeah, I, was, I was felt pretty sharp early on. And um, yeah, it was, I thought all the boys were, we were on though, it seemed like we started to click a bit more and, and gel and um, a bit more chemistry and team cohesion with our offence in particular and probably our defence as well to keep a team to 12 shots on goal um, was, a, was a great effort and North Melbourne, I think they have improved a fair bit um, and I think their first few games they've been really competitive so we're really proud of the way that we went out and put in um, a pretty professional performance for four quarters, maybe the third quarter we were a little bit off but... Um, Overall, a, a good result and a step in the right direction for us. It's, it's, not, it's not really a tangible thing, is it? Like you talk about your brand or just the feeling, like how that comes back again. Like, can you explain? Yeah, well, I thought there was. I thought down. there were parts against Collingwood where we were. Well, I think every game, to be honest, like Carlton for a quarter and yeah. a half, um, Fremantle at the start. Um, we just haven't been able to sort of string it together for four quarters until. The weekend, but I think um, the biggest thing was our ball movement and our um, cohesion with our forwards and giving them the best chance. I thought we lowered our eyes a bit better and we took, I think, 20 odd marks inside 50, which we definitely haven't done um, this year so far. So um, just our predictability with our teammates, and um, we worked a fair bit on it during the week, um, something that we hadn't spoken a heap about, but we were getting a lot of inside 50s and um, we weren't scoring as much as we have in the past. So. That was a, a big improvement for us on the weekend. Is that style or that ball movement particularly something that you think can stack up against Melbourne or do you have to change things again because we know how they like to defend and free up guys to intercept and whatnot? Like yeah, well, it was probably um, a good way to play in the build-up to this game. We know how prolific Stephen May and Jake Lever are with the intercept marks and they've got other guys um, who, are, who are performing so well down back that we will have to change angles and... Um, use the free player that's available instead of just bombing it in all the time to, to Joe and Eric and, and hoping for the best. So um, there'll be times that we have to do that and we need them to compete, but um, at the same time when we've got time and space and free numbers, we want to be able to use it. And I think the first few weeks we weren't doing that well enough. Can you quantify after everything that happened last week off-field, um, you were 0-3, then all the drama at the start of last week, does, does it make a group more united or is that just a... Oh, maybe. I think it. Um, I don't know if it makes us closer. We're pretty close as it is. Um, it probably just highlights it and uh, makes us focus on that aspect a little bit more um, during the week and, and on game day. But um, to be honest, we haven't seen any splintering or anything at all. So we feel like we're a pretty tight knit group all the time. But um, having that questioned I suppose and, and put in the public forum um, maybe does give you an extra one or two percent but I thought the guys really celebrated um, on the weekend our goals um, our smothers tackles all the little things we celebrated them well which was probably lacking a little bit in the first couple of weeks but um, we got back to, to playing um, with some real energy I thought on the weekend. To get through did you need any help 
Yeah. Most weeks I do. I'm getting to that age, mate. So um, yeah, yeah. But that's that happens all the time, not just last week. Melbourne on Thursday, like the fixturing. I'm, I'm sure you're probably welcoming that. Like it's a pretty good litmus test to see where you're at because they've, they've sort of gone through the wars themselves and are playing really well. Yeah, they're playing great footy. Um, going to be a massive test for us and on their home ground as well. Um, we feel like it's a great test for us. I think we've been building the last couple of weeks to be able to put in a, a really good performance against a, a great side, so um, we look forward to it. But yeah, it is going to be a challenge and they're probably them and GWS who we've got in a few weeks as well. Um, it's, a, it's going to be a great few weeks for us and Geelong who are yeah. undefeated. So the next few weeks will give us a, a good insight as to where we're at. Um, and hopefully we can mix it mix it with the big boys. It always seems like a test when you play those guys. Um, when you play Melbourne down there, it's like you've, had, you've won a semi final there. Last year it was the Friday uh, it was a Friday night game that you sort of lost in the dying. Yeah. Moments. It always seems like that they are like a I don't know if they're the ultimate test for you guys, but that you match up. And that it's a, yeah, I think we've had we've had great battles against yeah. them for the last sort of four or five years. Um, there's probably a period where they had a had a dominance over us and they're a great side and um, yeah we we love matching up against them we feel like they're almost the benchmark of the well, they probably are the benchmark of the competition in my eyes at the moment um, so yeah it's going to be another great battle um, but yeah we we back ourselves in if we play our best footy we think we're, we're a real chance to to get the win um, so we go there hoping to to get the four points and bring it back to Brizzy, but um, yeah, I think over the last few years we've had some great battles against Melbourne. Um, they've got great players across all lines of the field and um, really respect that footy club and the way that they've gone about things for the last five or six years. They've been um, an unbelievable organisation, so yeah, it's a great test for us. What do the milestones mean at this stage of your career to you? Uh, yeah, probably not too much. I think for me at the moment I'm focused on getting W's for the team and um, yeah I, I know that I'll look back and be really proud to reach 250 um, but yeah I haven't thought about it too much. It was meant to be um, last week um, in, in Adelaide which would have been cool in front of family and friends and stuff but having it at the MCG is pretty nice as well, um, the home of footy so yeah I'm looking forward to Running out there, hopefully with Piper if she's still awake, um, get her on the field and have my family and, and Jules there and um, a couple of friends might journey across from South Australia. So uh, yeah, it should be it should be a nice celebration for them, but um, firmly focused on the result and the process to, to get a win at the moment and um, hopefully play my part and, and have a good game against Melbourne. I think one thing it does show is longevity. I heard a stat the other day. I think you've played 200 of the last 204 games. Know that, but that's, it's not easy to back up week after week in the AFL, is it? No, it's not. Um, I've, we've got a great medical team here that get me up. Um, a lot of times when early in the week I probably doubt if I'm going to play, but um, yeah, the medical staff here have um, been fantastic. We had Peter Blanche for my first few years who was amazing and I've um, got Luke Light back at the club now um, who he looks after me so well. and. Yeah, the medical team across my whole time here have, have been unbelievable for me and at, and at Freo as well. And um, yeah, I sort of pride myself on getting up for games as well. I think um, I sort of back myself in to be able to perform even under a little bit of duress. So uh, it's probably a strength of mine. But um, yeah, 250 is nice. 300 will be nicer if I can get to, get to that one. But that's a fair way down the track. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.